everyone, this is FaZe and welcome to my channel. Yesterday, I unboxed the all-new MacBook Pro in the space black color with the M3 Pro chip. It's the one that Apple just announced. I did a full unboxing video with my first impressions, and I also compared the space black color with the space gray color. So if you're interested in seeing that video, you can click the link above or in the description below. Now, I've done a lot of what's on my iPhone videos in the past and a what's on my iPad video, but I've never really done a what's on my MacBook video. So today we're gonna do just that, where I go over how I've set my MacBook up and the apps that are on it. So without any further ado, let's begin. So this is the wallpaper that I have set for my Mac. It's a New York City skyline uh, screensaver and wallpaper. I really like how it kind of moves and animates uh, with the new Mac OS Sonoma update. And there's like a ton of amazing new wallpapers and screensavers that that update comes with. So if you haven't checked that out, go in your settings app and check those wallpapers out. So also with my Mac, I can unlock it with just my Apple Watch. But since my screen is being recorded, it does not let me do that. So I'm going to use Touch ID. And here we are in my desktop now. And I kind of like that little animation that uh, the Mac does from the screensaver onto the wallpaper. I know that's really geeky to talk about, but I really like that. It's a nice touch. So I'm a minimalist. So I don't like a lot of clutter. I don't like a lot of things going on in my desktop. So you'll see that there's no files or documents or folders that are bombarding my desktop. Now, speaking of my desktop, I have a few widgets with the new Mac OS Sonoma update. Apple now lets you pin widgets onto your desktop. And these are the same widgets that you'll find on your iPhone or iPad. So they look very familiar. So right up top, I've got the calendar widget because I like to see exactly what events and meetings I've got coming up next. Then I've got the weather widget, the clock widget, and the top stories news widget. And then you go into my dock and I've got Finder, I've got Safari, iMessages or messages, I've got Outlook for my business email, and I've got just mail for my personal emails. I use Microsoft Teams to get in touch with my clients and all work-related people. And then I've got Trello, where I basically have all my projects organized so I can see all the things that I need to be working on. Uh, then I've got FaceTime, LumaFusion. So LumaFusion is the app that I use to edit all my videos. So I used to be a longtime user of Final Cut Pro. That was my go-to choice. But for quite a while, I was editing videos on my iPad Pro and I needed a powerful tool to edit videos on there. And I got LumaFusion because Final Cut Pro wasn't really available at the time and I fell in love with it. So I love it so much now that I use LumaFusion even on my app. So if I click into it, you're not going to really see anything because I haven't started a project. I literally got this Mac yesterday. So the video that I'm going to first produce on this Mac is going to be the ambient lights on my Tesla Model Y. So stay tuned for that. So that's LumaFusion. Absolutely love it. <clears throat> I've got the calendar app, which actually I'm just going to remove since I already have the widget right here. All right, now I've got the Instagram app. Now this is really cool because you can now go on your desktop. Any website that you can go to, you can turn that into a web-based app. So this literally acts and functions like an app. So I don't have to go to Instagram.com. I've just saved it as a web app and I get its own little icon and everything. It's saved on my dog. This is my Instagram, by the way. So if you don't follow me, you should go follow me. Um, so that's Instagram. I've got reminders, notes, Apple TV. I'm currently watching the morning show and physical. Uh, great shows that are on Apple TV+. Plus. So if you have any great shows or movies that you can recommend, comment below and let me know. So this is the Apple TV app. Uh, news app. Should also remove that since I've got the top stories in this widget right here. Got the app store and I've got system settings. So that's pretty much my dog. And also, you know, you get your recently used uh, applications right here as well. Let's look at my app library. Um, so these are all basically the apps that come included with your Mac. I don't even really touch the the layout of this on the main screen. Let's see. I do use pages, numbers, and you know, so those are my go-to productivity tools. So I use them a lot. But let's switch on to the next page. And we already went over Microsoft Outlook and Trello, but I've also got the YouTube Studio app. Once again, it's the web app, um, but it's really nice because I can quickly see at a glance how my videos are performing, get all the analytics. I always have to go to Safari, go on YouTube Studio to view all this. I just saved it as a web app so I can just access it right away through my desktop. So once again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe. All right, what else do I have? All right, so I've got LinkedIn. Same thing, it's a web app. Um, takes me to my LinkedIn feed. Uh, CapCut, 
CapCut is what I use to edit all my Instagram reels and YouTube shorts. So that's, I'm very glad that that's on the Mac now. WhatsApp, it has finally made its way on the Mac. So I downloaded that. I haven't used it just yet, but I'm assuming it's going to work exactly like it does on an iPhone. Next up, I've got Kindle. All right, so let's open up Kindle. All right, so whenever I want to do some reading, I basically just go on this app and I just read. I don't read a lot on my Mac. I have an actual Kindle and an iPad for that, but it's just good to have it on the go if I ever want to read. So that's the Kindle app. All right, so now let's take a look at Canva. I do social media management and content creation for clients. So obviously I'm creating reels and a lot of great videos, but I'm also creating just normal posts and Canva allows me to do that. So this is what I use. And it's very simple and easy to use. You don't even have to be a graphic designer. Literally anybody can use Canva and just create amazing graphics. And you can do some amazing video work on it as well. It's a great app. And then last but not least, I've got Widget Wall, which is something I downloaded just to have some pictures as my widget on my desktop. So I haven't really tested this out yet, but, um, but I will soon. All right, guys, this pretty much wraps up my What's on My MacBook video. This is a powerful machine. And I'm super excited to be using this as my main daily driver. Like I said, I just got this yesterday, so it's gonna take a while for me to really dig in and really test out its performance and stuff. But I'm really excited to be doing hardcore video editing on this for myself and my clients. But as always, I wanna know your thoughts. What are some apps or widgets that you think is amazing to have on a Mac? Whatever it is, comment below, let me know. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.